You know, I'd like to say, Good morning, everybody. I hope this video finds you well. Today, I want to talk about news as a symptom of death. News as a symptom of death. News as a symptom of death. Whenever creatures die, sometimes they'll die peacefully. A lot of times they might go into convulsions and the body's twitching. And they would call that the dance of death. The animal's twitching as it dies. It's convulsing and dying. There isn't, you can see it. I mean, you can see the blood in the, in, the, in the creature. You can see the broken bones. You can see the panting. You can hear the gasping, screaming, whatever. And then you see the convulsions. The United States, the entire West is dead. The societies are dead. The democracy doesn't function. They go through the motions like, like unbelievers in a Catholic mass. They don't believe anything. They just go through the motions because no matter who they vote for, the policies won't change. When people didn't want Trump, so they wanted Biden. Biden came in, he took over Trump policies. People didn't want Morrison. Not only did they sweep out Morrison, they swapped out every single one of his party. Put a new guy in, the guy copied Morrison's policies. Democracy doesn't work. You vote for change, you get your person in there and they don't do jack, they, they do jack shit, nothing happens. And that's an element of a dying society. But it's not clear enough. You wanna see blood, <laughs> you wanna see broken bones, you wanna see elements of society. What are they? Well, you would see crime. Just all sorts of petty crimes will be um, blown up out of proportion. So you want to see crime. You'll want to see riots where the police are unable to stop it. They just kind of stand back and let the riot run its course. You will see normal infrastructure that is falling apart or closed off or money that goes to the infrastructure disappearing into thin air. You will see organizations and systems such as college degrees or justice groups or whatever, no longer respected. Check marks and a long series of check marks, but the talent is no longer there. It's like a scene from Idiocracy where the guy is wearing a wig as a judge but doesn't know anything. You'll be seeing these things. And of course we're seeing that throughout the West. You can't deny to me that tent cities in America and the subway systems and all the rest of the collapse is evident left and right. So society has collapsed and the United States is in the process or already has collapsed and the rest of the the rest of the Western nations. That's pretty clear. And today uh, I want to talk about another thing that has collapsed, a telltale that shows the collapse of society. And that's what goes for news. When a society collapses, or up until the point of where society collapses, 
the regular news, which is just a guy saying, hey, look, I saw that happen, is replaced by an organization that says, we will tell you what happened, and <clears throat> that happened. That is then replaced by the government telling the people what to say, and then the people, the actors, get on the shows and say what happened. So everything here in the United States, the mainstream media is owned lock, stock, and barrel by the United States government, and it should be obvious as all hell. And the problem with that is that it's a pillar of the democracy. It's a pillar for what for American independence and freedom is. So the moment you remove that, the moment you put it into control of the government, you lose your freedom. And uh, the founders of the United States felt that this was a very, very important freedom that you shouldn't ever lose because the moment you lose it, all the other freedoms fall. Well, the United States government, and even to the point of um, alternative media, is pretty much taken over by the government in one way or one influence after another. And because of that, you now have a very uh, interesting situation where it's just a flood of bullshit, and that's an element of society. So uh, I've gone through Drudge, and we've got, uh, of course, the American enemies are being American enemies uh, at a scale you've never seen before. They're terribly, terribly evil. Scientists say, and of course they're pointing to another apocalypse. Scientists are always, if you see the news, it's a funny thing about scientists, Scientists and experts say that this could happen, and then they list some kind of catastrophic events. Today's event is uh, another sun is going to plunge through our solar system, and that could destroy the world that we know of. There's always some kind of emergency, a pandemic. Now it's mo monkeypox. Even though coronavirus is causing more deaths in America this year than it did last year. It's not a problem, so nobody wears masks. Idiocracy has run full speed, run amok throughout America. So I want to talk a little bit right now about the idea of using news as a barometer to judge the madness of society and in turn the fall of a society and that means the fall of its government. Those of you who have been following me know that ever since February, I've been pushing out the new beginnings about this peak cycle in geopolitics. And basically, it's a collection of uh, news articles, not, not the kind of articles you'd see, not really in the New York Times or anything like that, but rather specialized publications that really tell you what's going on. The back door, the actual stories about what's happening, uh, mixed up with some art, um, some videos, some f you know, food, lots of good delicious food, cats, comics, all kinds of stuff. A little daily magazine walkthrough, if you may. And I've been taking that and uh, I've been documenting collapse of the West in that way. It's really taken away a lot of metallic man, but um, if you're watching it, you can actually see in real time how everything's just dying. It's just dying. Because there's a lot of historical elements that I throw in. 
and that tells you, that gives you co compare and contrast. You're reading about this brutality of how uh, in New York City these black people are just randomly beating up Asian people. And then the next thing you see is a his, an excavation of a destruction of a village uh, six mil, uh, six thousand years ago. And the whole family all gathered up and buried. These compare and contrasts give you a attunement to what's going on compared to what has happened in the past. It's very, very important stuff. So this uh, imagery, these, these articles that I have paint a comparative picture in an entertaining way, showing the collapse of society. Um, but really, now things have really gone off the scale. <clears throat> they really have. Everything about China is really bad. Um, Apparently, uh, let's talk. Uh, let's talk about China for just a second. I, I did a video yesterday about Hal Turner reporting on collapse of China, banking's collapse, and all this stuff. That's the narrative being pushed, push, push, push in America right now. China's collapsing. Let me tell you what really happened and what's really going on. Because on Dredge today, they're all, they're duplicating the same narrative. China's collapsing. China's collapsing. Look at the banks. Let me tell you what really happened. And no, no, uh, Hal Turner says, rumors have it that Xi Ping and his cronies have been stealing money. <laughs> That's the propaganda narrative. I got really pretty uptight, uptight about that if you saw my other video. So you want to know what's really going on? I'm telling you what's really going on. They have these small banks. They call them small banks. Village banks. They're actually illegal in China. They're illegal. But in the small rural areas, in the small communities, they exist. The, the, um, they're not considered that big of a threat. Basically, it's a bunch of people. They pull their money together and set up a bank. And they have to um, follow basic banking rules, but um, because they're small, they don't have the staff or whatever, the rules are kind of bent, okay, that allow them to get by with stuff that other places normally couldn't get by with. And apparently, one such bank got a huge influx of foreign cash, U.S. dollars, somehow. And, and their interest rates were abnormally high. Normal interest rates here in China are around 3%, depending upon the type of bills and everything you have. And these people were looking, you know, they were looking at, you know, 12, 25%. So, of course, all the poor villagers and, and uh, people from the areas are, are, are like, yeah, these are great interest rates, and they're pulling their money in here. And then the owners of the bank packed up and left, took all the money. China shut down the whole operation, froze everything, and are investigating. That's the situation right now. That is what's going on. That's what should be reported. Exactly what I just told you right there. You have this banking model set up by a bunch of uh, 
uh, people where they pull their money together. It's very, very loose. They got an influx of foreign cash somehow. And that gave them high interest rates. Then suddenly the bank closed and they can't find the owners. Well, excuse me, they found a lot of the principal people. Not all of them, but they found a lot of them. Uh, they're all in jail right now. But uh, the ones, they're, they're still hunting a, a couple of the real main ones. They're still trying to find them. They think they're out of the country. Imagine that. And uh, there's a lot of photo ops going on. And if you study the photo ops, I'm gonna show you something. You know what's really interesting? The signs are in English. People, in China, they speak Chinese and they write in Chinese. So why would the fucking signs be in English? Hmm? Well, that goes to the audience, right? So this is being reported as a sign of Chinese downfall and blah, 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 and blah, 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 in the West. They know because they can read the signs. Anyways, so that's what's going on with that. Um, as far as these other things, this, this star going to pass through the solar system, it happens. It happens. And there's disruptions. That happens. Don't get too worried about it, okay? Anything could happen, all right? But it's... If it does, it does. There's nothing you can do about it. So what the hell, okay? It's like the, it's like, uh, the movie Annie Hall. And in the movie Annie Hall, um, the, the boy is saying, you know, he's depressed. So he goes to a psychiatrist. He goes to the psychiatrist and says, you know, psychiatrist says, you know, you, you lost your interest in food. You're not studying anymore. You're not trying to get good grades. He says, why? And the young boy says, well, you know, you know about the Big Bang, right? And how the universe is created and, and then it's all going to collapse back again as part of a cycle. The, the psychiatrist says, yeah, yeah, I understand. It's all going to die out. Yeah, yeah. And so the young boy says, well, what's the point? Why should I study? What's the point of the news? Why do you watch it? Is it out of habit? Do you want to be kept aware of things? Why do, why do you watch the news about China? You're not in China. Why is it important to you? If you're in China, you'll know exactly what's going on, right? Just like if I'm in America, I'll know exactly what's going on in America. And if I'm in Britain, I will know exactly what's going on in Britain. And if I'm in Australia, I will know what's going on in Australia. If I'm in France, I will know what's going on in France. If I am in Canada, I will know what's going on in Canada. But if I'm not in Zambia, how the hell am I supposed to know what's going on in Zambia? That's a country, by the way, for those of you who are American. So, uh, that's the point. That's the real point. We're seeing distortions of news to such a level that's clearly indicative of a massive collapse in the death throes. Go ahead, pull up. Yahoo has completely accepted money to malign China and therefore, so they don't get caught on it, they completely block China. It's only, what, 80% of the manufacturing in the world? 20% of the, 25% of the world's population? Gonna block them, huh? What kind of business decision is that?
a major American organization decides to divorce its ties with the largest consumer group on the planet. And make no mistake, you think Americans are consumers? Mm -mm. China's the consumer group. So what kind of thought gives it to you that, well, that's because they're getting money elsewhere for other things? The publishing model for making money does not apply to American corporations. Their model is one of sucking from the government's tit and producing what the government says because it's a more profitable mar model than reporting things. I do have to admit that I complain a whole bunch about the uh, United States uh, news, but that's because I'm an American and because uh, news has become something that doesn't do anything except upset you. Used to be you'd go buy groceries and you would see this dime store cheap tabloid in the newspaper rack talking about how Bill Clinton, you know, was communicating with reptilians and stuff. And you knew it was bullshit. But you'd buy it because it was fun. Some of the ignorance would buy it, but you know, it's just just bullshit. And now I mean, that's all there is in the news. So, what's the takeaway for this? We're seeing this kind of stuff going on as news, parading as news, parading as contemporaneous reports, but it's not. It's just, it's just, it's just a fantasy. Why is there a concocted fantasy being made? Well, the answer is simple. There's a, there is a generation of fear and hate to make everybody in the United States hate and fear and loathe the rest of the world. You create a cardboard cutout of an enemy and then you have everybody angry. They must do something to save the babies at that cardboard cutout. When in reality, the situation is with the advent of TikTok and social media and five, six, seven Gs, you've got instantaneous validity on what the hell's going on. And the only way these narratives can be maintained is by restricting and controlling the flow of the rest of the supporting information. Nowhere in the American media is it talking about what's actually going on with these banks. They're saying banks plural. I think it's just one bank. Maybe it, it might be one or two. Nobody's talking about where they got all this money to have the high interest rates. Nobody's talking about this stuff. Now. I saw this on social uh, on Chinese social media, so I'm going to tell it to you straight. These are tiny banks, at most, at most forty thousand people. People, that's nothing in China. One point six billion people. This is nothing. This is like. Uh, Three people in a high school cheerleading squad, okay? It's nothing. And sure, you've got these, these, these people jumping up and down and screaming and hollering, but, you know, it's just bullshit. Anyways, it'll be thrown up in the American media. They'll, they'll try to make hay on it, and then they'll switch to Ugar Muslims, and they'll try to make hay of it. Then they'll switch to something else to try to make hay of it. They'll basically try to keep these narratives away. If you watch Drudge, and I've been watching Drudge, I don't read the stuff, but you know I go through the uh, <laughs> the titles, and it's you know there's always one or two anti-China articles a day, constant. 
And then, of course, over the last couple of weeks, there's always uh, articles about Russia, how Ukraine is winning and brave Ukrainians and then the, the evil Russians. Though uh, the, the drop off on Ukrainians uh, being successful in taking on Russia has de decreased over time. You know, back in January, I report in January, I reported how Ukraine was making victory, victory and atrocity videos. These sets were being constructed. I wrote all about it, how these elaborate sets were being made that showed how Russians were committing atrocities and stuff. And then nothing happened. There was no war or anything. And then the first week of, you know, this, this stuff was rolling on. So, you know, they, I just published it and everybody says, see, Russia did attack. That's not the point. The point is the entire West knew what was going to go on. They prepared everything, complete with propaganda videos. The propaganda videos you see hitting America right now are very, very well made. They have sets, they have actors, they have costumes. It's not your Bill Clinton era sets. These things are really substantive. When they tried to do stuff about people living in squalor in Shanghai, they had sets. They had sets. Actually sets. But you could tell it wasn't the case because in China, all the nurses who are wearing medical garb all the doctors, the physicians, they have their name and their role written on the on their uniforms. And the beds all have a QR code and a number. So you know that all this stuff is just, it's not happening in China. I don't know where it's happening, but it's not happening in China. And these are important things to keep in mind. Okay, so In a healthy democracy, the construction of sets to create propaganda does not occur because you have a free press. I'm going to repeat that again because this is the point of the article. In a healthy democracy, you have a free press. When you don't have a free press, you don't have a democracy. The construction of sets, the hiring of actors, the creation of scripts, and the promotion of a fire hose of lies, all run by the government, aggravates the fact that a democracy does not exist. So as the nation is dead, and you can see the death throes, it's clear as day to anybody who thinks, anybody who can reason, it's as clear as day what's going on. And at that, people, I hope you uh, have a good day, enjoy life. It's hot summer. Get yourself a watermelon. Watermelon's good. For some reason, I think potato chips also go with watermelon. I think it's the salt and the sweet. If not, may I suggest a a uh, orange sickle, which is a orange sherbet and a vanilla ice cream soft serve. Try one of those, that might be delicious. Orange cream. Orange cream soft serve might be good. Hmm? Get yourself one of those. And in all ways, people, as long as you're petting the kitty cats, saying hi to the dogs, smiling every day, being kind to your neighbors, Turn off this news because it's just aggravating, because it's just a bunch of lies. Well-constructed lies, they're getting better and better at it every day.
we're in a transition period right now where soon you won't be able to tell the difference between the cons constructed lie narratives and reality. They're relying on your ignorance of what China is and how China works to propagate these lies about China, just like they're doing it for Africa and South America, Russia. Don't allow that to be your reality, okay? Don't allow that to be your reality. And remember people, I believe in you. Yes, I do, I really do, I believe in you. Take care. And remember, I believe in you, I do. I believe in you. <laughs>